here today? Yes, at an aquarium where you can go on a real underwater adventure. Hey, what are they doing? Well, that's Colleen and Chuck. Let's go ask them. Come on. Hi, kids. Did you see us cleaning the exhibit? Oh, so that's what you were doing. Yep, we were cleaning the windows with these clocks. Cleaning the windows for the fish? And also for you, so you can see our exciting exhibit. And so you can see all of these amazing fish. And hey, a turtle too. Would you like to help us feed the turtle? Sure! <laughs> wow, you never know what you might learn when you explore new places and new things. Superwise funded by a cooperative agreement of the U.S. Department of Education and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting's Ready to Learn grant. And by PBS viewers like you. Thank you. Fun for everyone makes a family strong. Chuck E. Cheese's proudly supports PBS Kids. Sometimes the greatest adventure can start with one click. ABCMouse.com, Early Learning Academy. Proud supporter of PBS Kids and Super Y. Who's got the power, the power to read? Who answers the call for friends in need? Super Y! Super Y! He's the guy, he's Super Y! Who's got the power, the power to read? Who looks into books for the answers we need? Super Y! Super Y! And the super readers we're gonna fly. Come along with the super glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Welcome to Storybook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Oh no! My big brother Jack looks upset. Let's go see why. What's wrong? Look at my guitar. You broke one of the strings. Uh, I didn't break your guitar. Come on, you're always messing with my stuff. I didn't touch your guitar, and I didn't break your guitar string. This is terrible. Jack thinks I broke his guitar string, but I didn't. This is a super big problem. And a super big problem meets us, the Super Readers! We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers! Calling all Super Readers! To the book club! To the book club! Come on, to the book club! Great, we're all here. Together, we'll solve my problem. Let's go! OK, 
Okay, Wyatt, state your problem. Jack thinks I broke his guitar string, but I didn't. Oh, oh, no. oh no, that's terrible. What should I do if I didn't do it? Good question. And when we have a question, we look in, in a, a book. book. What book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please. Let's read the title of this book. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The Mystery. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to my question. First, we look for super letters. And then, put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Oh, in this story, we need seven super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Arms in! Put your arm in. Super readers, to the rescue! Alphabet! With alphabet power! Wonder Red! With word power! This mess. The three bears think Goldilocks made the mess. Goldilocks, you always make the mess in our story. Goldilocks said she did not make the mess. I did not make this mess. The bears think Goldilocks made the mess, but she didn't. Just like Jack thinks I broke his guitar string, but I didn't either. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. The three bears and Jack think Goldilocks and I did something we didn't do. We've got to talk to Goldilocks. Let's roll. <laughs> Hi, Goldilocks. We're the Super Readers, and we want to talk to you. Oh, Super Readers, I didn't make this mess. If only I could figure out who did make the mess. Hmm. Hey, that looks like some kind of paw print. I didn't make this paw print mess. I have feet, not paws. See? Those prints don't belong to me. And they don't belong to the three bears. Bears have five toes, and these have four. We should follow them. They might lead to another clue about who made the mess. 
But there are so many paw prints. How will we know which way to go? Alpha Pig to the rescue! With my mega magnifying glass, we can follow the alphabet paw prints. Let's start with the letter A. Where is the letter A? There! There's the A. A, B, C, D, E. Uh-oh. Next we need the letter F. Where's the F? ourselves a big thumbs up. You see super letters? You do? Which letters are they? P, V, T. P, V, and T. Our first super letters. We need to put them in our super duper Computer! Four more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer! Awesome job, super readers! Oh, dear! The bears will think I broke the chair, but I didn't! Well, we're gonna find out who did! Oh, my peas! What's this? Fur. <gasps> it's another clue. I certainly don't have brown fur, right? Right. So we need to find out who does. Sticky porridge and more brown fur. Onward, super readers! Whoever made the mess might be behind one of these doors. But which one? Let's try all of them. <laughs> oh no! All the doors are locked! What a mess. We need to hurry! The three bears are almost home and we haven't found who made the mess! But none of these doors will open! What are we going to do? Open the door we need. Will you spell door with me? Splendid! Wands up. Spell with me. What letter makes the sound D, D, D? D! D! Write it with me. Now we need two O's. <laughs> Write two O's with me. A big circle. And another big circle. Oh, what pretty O's. Finally, what letter makes the sound R? R! R! D-O-O-R, door! Presto! <laughs> Spectacular spelling! 
made the right door open. Let's take a bow. You see super letters? What letters did you find? And an E? Way to go, super readers. Now we need to put them in our super duper computer. Two more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. What on earth? What is that? My lord. Do you see? Oh no, I hear the three bears. They're home. And we haven't figured out who made the mess. They're still gonna think it was me. <gasps> I have to hide. <gasps> Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and they're still there sleeping. It's Goldilocks. We just know it. No, it's not Goldilocks in that bed, silly bears. <laughs> Of course it's Goldilocks in the bed. It's in our story, see? The bears find Goldilocks in the bed, see? First, Goldilocks made a mess by eating our porridge and breaking our chairs, and now she's sleeping in Baby Bear's bed. <gasps> How can we show the bears it's not Goldilocks in the bed? Super wide to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day. Let's change the word Goldilocks in this sentence. Let's zap it. Ready, set, zap! Water writer, write. Whoever's sleeping in a bed made the mess. So let's think. Whoever made the mess had fur. Which word is something that has fur? Wolf, apple, or slippers? Slippers have fur? Let's try slippers. Which is the word slippers? Hmm, it begins with an S. Bear! There's the word slippers. Let's zap it. Ready, set, zap! Let's read. The bears find slippers in the bed. Doesn't make sense. Slippers are furry, but could they make a mess? No. Nope. Slippers can't make a mess. Hmm. Whoever made the mess had fur, but also had paws. What has fur and paws? Wolf, apple, or slippers? Wolf! A wolf has fur and paws. Which is the word wolf? It starts with the letter W. Bear! There's the word wolf. Let's zap it. Ready, set, zap! Let's read. The bears find wolf in the bed. Oh, look at that! It's the big bad wolf! Huh? I can't believe it! All along we thought Goldilocks made the mess. Mess? What mess? You made the mess in the Three Bears' house, and I can prove it! First, we followed the wolf's paw prints into the bear's house. Then we found the wolf's brown fur at the broken chair. <laughs> then we followed the clues up the stairs. Okay, okay. I made the mess. Oh, 
I'm sorry. Really, I am. I didn't realize how messy I really was. It's all right, Wolf. As long as you help clean up. <laughs> Super letters? Which letters are they? Oh, I. Oh, I. Great. Let's put them in our super duper computer. We did it. We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Goldilocks, we're so sorry we thought it was you. Yes, Goldilocks, we're sorry we didn't believe you. It's okay. At least I was able to prove that it wasn't me, and that it was the wolf. You did a good job of showing us that. You sure did. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get back to the book club. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody.
neighborhood. Weekdays starting Monday, September 3rd on PBS Kids. Or watch Daniel Tiger anytime at pbskids.org. PBS Kids is going big with Big Dinosaur Week. Can you take us on a big adventure? You bet. Big Dinosaur Week with new episodes of Dinosaur Train featuring big, big dinosaurs. All this week on PBS Kids. Or watch online anytime at pbskids.org. Superwise funded by a cooperative agreement of the U.S. Department of Education and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting's Ready to Learn grant. And by PBS viewers like you. Thank you. Fun for everyone makes a family strong. Chuck E. Cheese's proudly supports PBS Kids. At abcmouse.com, we believe that learning is the greatest adventure of all. abcmouse.com, Early Learning Academy. Proud supporter of PBS Kids and Super Y. The Super Readers love to figure things out. Can you help me figure out which animal doesn't belong? We have a dog, a donkey, a tiger, and a dolphin. Which one doesn't belong? The tiger. Right. The tiger starts with the letter T. All the other animal names start with the letter D. You can play more games like this with Super Y at pbskids.org. Coming up next, all aboard the dinosaur train. PBS Kids. What is it? It's sticky. Feels pretty gross. There could be worms. Feels very slimy. Or it could be snakes. Or an octopus. A plain old eel. A thick mermaid hair. Big chunks of... Oh, I know. It's a crab. Creepy powers. It's all how you look at it. Excuse me. 